Hello everyone, Love from Machines, and today I will be reviewing the Thomas and Friends Adventures, Frankie. So, without further ado, let's get started. Now, this is actually a quite nice model. I mean, look at all that painted in detail. This model just looks really good. However, before we go any further, I do want to point out that the windows on the back of her and the, the buffers weren't painted in. They were painted in by me. So... Don't expect your model to be painted in with the buffers and the back window. Uh, well, of course, Frankie does go well with Hurricane. No surprise there. I mean, they're like the team duo. However, I mean, Frankie's face is a bit small compared to Hurricane. Just, just, just a bit. But that aside, this model, like I said before, it looks great. They even painted in the rim of her funnel and her lantern and the MSC logo, which I don't know what it means, but it's still nice that it's painted in her. Uh, however, her face just, just, just looks a little bit weird, you know. Moving on, however, I do like how her, well, name is stamped on the side. And, well, uh, I do have to wonder how she's so clean. I mean, she works at the Steelworks, which is a pretty messy place because, I mean, there's melted steel and there's ashes and smoke getting everywhere. But she looks like she just got out of, like, a wash. I mean, if you told an engine on the island of Sodor to literally do anything, most of the time they get really messy like if you told an engine to go shunt a truck it wouldn't look like this it would look something more like this and i mean what do you expect you got to keep the story interesting in the episodes but even without her being film accurate i still like how the model looks i mean it just just looks good uh but i really do feel that mattel has stepped up their game since their I guess you can say major new version of the Taken play, which was this. Oh, oh wait, sorry. This is a this is a Thomas and Franz wooden railway engine. Oh, I I got the two mixed up. I meant to show you this, the major new version of the Taken play. Which is, you know, fine and all, but these magnets are just so annoying! I'm just annoying! Oh, these plastic couplings are so much better. Also, she actually rolls quite well on Adventure Track, or Take and Play Track. And now I know what you're thinking. Well, of course she does. She's meant for Adventure Track. But, you see here, here's this model, and well, it's back heavy, so tends to keep bouncing up like that which is just annoying also frankie's whistle is actually painted in which is quite nice considering how this model whistle isn't painted in at all frankie's just so much better okay now uh i just wanted to mention this there are these tiny stairs molded onto her which looks so funny because they're so small i can't imagine like a human walking on them, but more of like an insect walking on them, which is funny. I just just wanted to point that out. I found that I found that funny. Ha ha ha! Funny. Uh, but there are some problems with her, which is basically that her back windows and buffers aren't painted in. These were actually painted in by me, but I mean, they don't mind me. T they don't bother me too much, but I still would have liked them to be painted on but i still think frankie is a great model i mean she just looks amazing the painted in details the molded in details she just all around looks good i mean look at all that detail that just looks good you can reenact scenes from journey beyond sodor and she just looks great next to her hurricane and, well, I would definitely recommend this model to anyone who's a fan of Thomas. A casual fan, a fan of 
Journey Beyond Sodor, a fan of Frankie, you know, just, just anyone, because this model's quite nice, and I do recommend it. Uh, but, with that, I'm low for machines, I love to laugh out loud, I love the number four, and I love machines. Goodbye. And small stairs. Haha, <laughs> funny.